bumping that. Which is rare. Yeah, I have pumpkin seeds in my teeth. Well, if you weren't mashing on pumpkins all the time. So before we just start going into like total chaos, I'm just going to introduce us and then we can just talk about everything that just w- I witnessed and just hello everybody. Welcome to an episode of Not Well. I'm Bobby. I'm Jim. We've uh, been. I've been not well today. It's Jim's <laughs> birthday. Wow, girl. <laughs> the crickets are better. I feel like the crickets are better. He's 37. Well, um, I'm also in that like weird age where it doesn't matter. People were yeah, where people were <laughs> like I went and got a massage because. My wonderful oh, husband, to... my wonderful husband got me a spa gift card. I need to take a picture of your nails for Colleen. And then she told me to tell you, you look like John Holmes. Oh, I think that's a compliment. I think, I, yeah, I can't decide. Can't really know. Can't really know. Is he bald? Like, does she realize I don't have hair? No, but it's the mustache, I think. Okay. I think John Holmes was like a famous porn star. Oh. He had like the biggest dick. And it, and it checks out. Wow. Well, that's that's nice. I'm not actually a fan, but I'm not an idiot. Um, so anyways, yeah, I went to the spa to use my gift card. I got a same day appointment. Like, I'm so lucky. I love it. Aww. I fucking love so it. I got my deep tissue. Today? And yesterday. I can tell your skincare is working, too. Oh, it's like thank she's on you. She's on fleek, honey. And the guy's like, so is it a big one? Like, does it have a zero or a five? And I was like, nope, 37. <laughs> like... Yeah, just 37. It's just an age. 37 like, was a weird age I'm for like, me, though. I'm so I'm old, old already. It's like I get This is your getting ready for 40 period. This is where it like, starts. Prepare because 37 for me was you're like. You're basically 40. Right. So 37 for me was like, Oops. oh, I'm away from. Yeah. Now I'm away mid-30s. from. Yeah. That, now I'm away from That's the how, mid. Like I'm you're like ending your 30s. To, you're yeah. getting to the end. Yep, you're your, over the hill. Which is like, honey, you're coming down the hill. Fuck. And I'm coming down that hill. Coming down the hill. <laughs> now, speaking of coming down a hill, uh, I saw you come down a street just now. Now, let's just say really quick, we've what? always talked about like Lyft and Ubers, right? <laughs> and we know that we don't like Lyft. Okay. Well, I get a text saying I'm in a Lyft. In my defense, um, it was like, <laughs> was this booked, is the problem, like, it was like $10 cheaper. Mm. And so I got cheap. And guess what? And when points. you're cheap, when you act cheap, you get cheap. You get, you get the quality so you pay it's for. Like, why did I even fucking do it? And then I was even like, oh, they're, they're they're the same distance away. So it's not like I'm saving time with Lyft. Maybe I should just go to Uber. You, and I almost did it. And then I was like, no, it's $10. You would actually save time with Well, because I always feel guilty that I Uber here every time I come. Because, you know, it's like a lot of money every once in a while. Yeah. But it's not really that much. But no, it's but a little bit where you're like, like, you're like what am I doing? And it's like, well, when you want to have a, a drug few cocktails, addict. right. Like a little, some cocktails. So, no. <laughs> yeah. That's, <laughs> well, it's just not worth it. Like, even if I have two beers, I'm not going to no, risk it's driving not home. It. It's not like, worth it. So it's cheaper than a ticket. You know what I mean? So I'm and getting... my guilty conscience. Exactly. So I'm looking like this. I'm looking at this price. I'm going $10. So I chose book Lyft. It, book it. Book it. So I wait seven minutes at home. <laughs> This person is in my neighborhood. There's, it's a one-way street, but there's a divider in the middle. We're in that second half, so you have to go through the divider. You should have known. And he is sitting at the end of the first section, looking side to side. I can see him way down there. Then he gets closer. He like goes a spurt forward, looking side to side, still not to the divider. And I'm three houses into the past the divider. I'm like... Can Hello? you get to this fucking? I'm like, it's one way. I'm like, and you have the map up. It doesn't show that I'm there. So why are you down there? So he was looking at the street address. So from the very start, we he, we knew this was going to be kind of like yeah. Okay. So I get in. We go. I'm like, oh no, he's going an interesting way. He like is hesitant. <laughs> like every intersection, he's stopping. Oh, to, like just God, to slow I down, even with a green light, he's slowing down to mm-hmm. look through the intersection. Do not slow down in yeah. the train. <laughs> and it, I'm like, people, I can't stand people behind us. Are hon- we got like three honks <gasps> on the ear. Oh, how embarrassing! That's so like then embarrassing. <laughs> we get. I know, and the the highway is packed right now. So we get on and we get to that mm-hmm. 71 South and North split when you're on 670, and it's confusing because South is to the left and North is to the right. However, his map showed him perfectly. He had it up and he was looking at it. Then he was looking at the road. Then he looked at the map. Then he looked at the road. Then he just chose wrong. I was like, it's it not that you weren't there. paying attention. I'm like, he paid attention. So then we turn on and we like hit 71 North, like to merge onto that. And it's pa- towards I mean, Cleveland, stand right? Stopped. So, you know, he could have actually done another. He had an escape exit. He too. did. Yes. And you're right. And, and he, he didn't, didn't do it. Do the it. 670 yep. continuation. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And he pa- he sometimes there's a crowd right there and that I'll sneak then you, off you and can. then come to the airport. And it's worth it. It is worth it. Matt's do, Matt's do that. So I'm on the other end going, okay, I'm getting texted. You're like, I'm on. 
71 North, you're taking pictures. I'm like, I think you're like writing your will. Like, I was having a panic attack because I was I like, imagine. if I this is been. how you get kidnapped, and then if you're this like, is how you go. sorry, sir, I can't get off this way. God. I can't get over. I can't get off. And then like next thing you know, I'm like, where am I? I'm going to have to call Payne Lindsay to do an investigation on where the fuck your body went. <laughs> and we're going to have to be in up and vanished. And I like, hope oh, this isn't how Lindsay. I die. <sighs> Can you imagine? What an embarrassing way. Well, first of all, it's like. They're like, you were in standstill traffic. You could have gotten out. And I'm like, but I didn't want to break the Uber rules. Well, and the biggest well, part is. Lift. The biggest it's part lift. is lift. I mean. Yep. That's the only. The, the your factor, eulogy, I'd be like, well. He did a lift. We've always talked about how lift is trash. And well. We really do talk Rest about it a peace. lot. And like every time we it's get terrible. it. It's terrible. It's terrible. You were like, get ready to smell like catfish. Yeah, I even said, get ready to smell like. I, because you know, actually, like that was a typo. Scent. I was going to say, it was cat shit. But <laughs> catfish, cat shit, you know. It's not good. Literally, either one, either one it's like, pick it's, your poison. It's a mix. <laughs> Mixture. Ew, I don't know. I think I'd rather cat. <laughs> all yeah. the lifts smell bad. All the lifts smell bad. They're all like ex-smokers that have cats. Yeah. And it's like, and, I'm but not. But it's cheaper, so it tricks people. Right. And then recently with that deal with the chase, like your, right. your husband's which, obsessed with it. Right. It, everything's about getting those points, which, okay, great. But like, I don't want to sit in a How car that has cigarette burns worth? like on the, the side. The points aren't worth it to me. Now, as we as Jim pulls up, I'm like, I'm going to, he's already a little bit frustrated. He's a little bit late. So I'm like, frustrated. I'm like, I got to see this bitch get out of the car. And I will be posting this on our Instagram. This bitch starts to get out of the car and the door won't open. And he's, I see him kind of panicking still. Oh, I like, panic. oh my God. I was looking at you like, if this is the last know, chance, well, what was, if he like shows me to and you then he, and then drives off with me still in? Oh, you'd have to dive out of that window. I'd be like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> oh my God. So then I all of a sudden <laughs> see Jim t- turn towards him and be like, uh, okay. He takes his hand and reaches it out of the goddamn car to open up the fucking door in the back on his own. So the child locks were locked and he had to unlock himself out of the fucking car. Oh, I have never in my I and was like, I have never in my I life couldn't predict that because that was the first time it happened. I literally was like, "Yep, that's how this sums like, up the ride." It sums up the ride. It literally puts like, it Can all. Can you reach outside? <laughs> Do no. outside. I was like, "What? Do what?" And I wonder why he was because he just started rolling down the window, and I'm like, "Oh no, is this my last goodbye?" <laughs> Say goodbye to your friend. Yeah, he's like, he drives me. I'm like, like, wave goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to, I'm taking you down to the slums to murder you out. and rape you. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. And you're filming. I'm filming going, I'm trying to like stay. And why was I so frustrated? Let's let the people know. They're like, okay, you. so you just like got a little late ride. Well, we were trying to be on time because I'm supposed to be at a puppy birthday party at 6 p.m. It's not happening. It's, it's not a, happening. Yes, it will. No, nah, it doesn't need to. It won't happen. Well. Regardless, I don't he's think here. It, we were like, regardless. yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I was like, I got it all set up. And then, and then it's like, we're on 71 North. I'm like, oh my God, is he going to die? And then I didn't think you were going to die. And then I started thinking, I'm oh just my glad God. you didn't have to use your doctor excuse for this. Because oh then you would have been home early. And now I really just want to use it tomorrow. Good choice. I forgot I had this goddamn meeting. I'm like, God damn it. Like, yeah, you're like, I have a Because I would have to, I'd ha- I have to, I'm like a big part of it. Yeah. Like, I'm smart. Um. <laughs> so yeah, so that's how we started off today. Angry, a little, a little bit um, confused. I'm using, uh, no, I feel bad at myself because I didn't trust myself for ten dollars. Like that whole experience, <clears throat> yeah. it would be worth it for it's me to that? pay ten dollars to not have. Right, like you could have had the like smell a, alone, but like the the rest the too. It's like you had I'm to paying. Unlock, I'm just gonna Uber. You had to open your own door. I yeah, like from the outside. <laughs> It's a lift. It's. Just, I'm it's glad he didn't ask lift. me to come up. But can you let him out? Like, bitch, what? I'm sorry. Is this? We need a discount. Like, I'm not letting you out for free. You fucking kidding? He's 37. He can't do this. I am. He's getting old. Like, like things are creaking. Yeah, you can't do this shit anymore. We can't play around like this. You can't do lift. It's my back. It's his neck. It's my pussy and my crack. It's all of it. Because yeah. this bitch was in New York City. Uh, I yes. need a very. I need oh, a. Re- let's we don't, be we always talk about over, it. Over twenty thousand steps today. Yeah, let's talk about a quick recap. Like, is there anything yeah. that um, is of significance? Oh, I heard about the blowjob contest or something. Oh yeah, we went Tell to Red that. Eye. Okay, so that was fun. Yeah. So we went to Red Eye, and this is Matt's first time in New York, and his first time at Red Eye. My only second time, right? I believe. And yes. actually, it wasn't even a good first time. No, it we wasn't because the, the downstairs was right. closed. It was open both times we went because we went Thursday and Saturday. Mm. And on Thursday, they had a blowjob contest in the basement. Like a real So we, like, go down, and I'm, like, in line to, like, close check to take my clothes off. And they're like, wait, everyone, it's time for the contest. And this guy who had just been walking around earlier and said hi to me even and, like, wanted to give me something, but I said no. 
he was no, he was going to get sucked. Oh, so he had handed out numbers, so they just drew the numbers from a thing. And up he on almost the stage, and they were like number thirty-seven, and then oh, uh, well, so these people just came in. You have to now, go up there and suck dick in front of three everyone? of them. Of three of the f- or five, I will th- four, maybe four were really good. Like it was amazing. Like right. I was like, well, I guess we're in New York, right? Like you got to so have like, your skills. This is off. where this is where you're. There's so many people that you're going to get the best of. Every, this you is know. where stars are made. This is where blowjob stars are made. So right. even watching was fun. And two of the four that were good were hot. Were old. Old. Yeah, so no they had shit. experience. Uh, like they were gray hairs. They little, were gray hairs. Trust me, daddies know how to suck and fuck. I know. Yeah, they do. It's been a long time. Two months. Um, <laughs> for me, <laughs> for you, yeah. It's been. <laughs> It's actually really fun to fuck an older person. Sorry, I'm going to say it. Like, <laughs> like sorry. It's been a long time. You're like two it's months. It's really, really fun. You liked Gramstown and Puerto Vallarta. I just kind of like the little like daddy, like, oh, take care of me, daddy. <laughs> let me play let me with puff, that. Let me play let me with puff that. on my pen again. <laughs> let me play with that giant prostate. <laughs> oh, do you have BPA? I feel like I have a giant. I need somebody to check my prostate. I will check it. <gasps> Okay. Well, oh. Michael might have more experience, yeah, actually, because he could... probably does it for all his... Yeah. Yeah, actually, Michael does. I should have... Well, Michael does check my prostate, right? Like, Not really. You have to, like, push He's in. He's not paying I've attention. I've seen, like, the things. Yeah. You have to, like, push in with your fingers and, like, and push down. And then you would like, feel it, like, <gasps> hard. And I feel like I'm having a... Pro- so, I mean, I'm not going to go into me right now, but I feel like I'm having a problem. Like, you know my pee shyness? Like, I'm pee shy, but then now I'm also too. feeling like I'm getting a little... Also can't hesitate. It's starting to be like, I yeah. have to push or something. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I think we're we have prostate issues. Oh my god! What if we both go through prostate issues together? Manipo- menopause. Menopause. We're going through menopause. You're just a little early. I am so. Sense. I'm kind of excited for menopause. I'm excited for why. old age. Like we're just gonna be old and cranky. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I'm gonna love it. We're gonna finally fit into our personalities. We so can like, finally eat we more can soup. Finally, be just some jackasses <laughs> and just be like, well, fuck them. It's like. <laughs> and I love soup, by the way. I know. Soup I had a soup. makes me lose weight, girl. Girl. I actually had a soup um, with grilled cheese croutons in New York. Ooh. Yeah. I made a soup that you would like. Like I, little cr- little tiny grilled cheese with like regular American, Kraft American. Oh, that is awesome. And so, but they Was were like tiny soup? little pieces and on t- they were on top. In tomato soup? Uh-huh. Oh, bisque. my mother fuck. It was amazing. I made a soup this week that you would like. It was curry soup. It was a sweet potato curry okay I would like- oh wait no it wasn't just curry <laughs> okay it's like <laughs> honey we were just eating the curry no, sauce no it was actually really fucking good but like it was had sweet. curry type spices with- yeah it was okay. sweet and spicy um <laughs> <laughs> it was good i don't give a fuck you know what i mean uh <laughs> <laughs> butternut curry everyone well and i should have used butternut i like i like a little what, butternut what was in it instead it was sweet potato sweet which was fine oh, i like sweet potato yeah i had a whole thing i had to blend it and wait all you made it yeah I'll oh, then I would probably love it. I'll make it again. Okay. I, I know I know what I need to do this time. Okay, now that I know you made it, I'm like, oh, it's good. <laughs> everything it was very, everything very good. you've made ever made is good. It's not good. I just know how to doctor shit up. Like the Alfredo sauce, yeah. that pizza, that Weight Watchers pizza was actually good. Minus the paper. Right. <laughs> but it was good. Yeah. Like we ate, we it's kept good. eating it. It's good. And it's, it makes you fucking full. I know. I kind of like that idea. Now, I, did, I need more protein. Yeah. Did you work out during your... Just one day, I lifted one, only one day. <laughs> I know it was bad. That's shocking to me because we were, I went we're down in the middle of paradise, press. and you're like, "I gotta go work out." I'm like, I "Well, know. not as much as others, but you did work out." Well, also, I had Matt with me who's never been, so I was like, pack- "I, I mean, I did. We did everything." I think. Oh, I, just the about first day, everything. I was like having a panic attack uh-huh, watching your and stories. So was I'm I. like, uh-huh. "You're like up oh, there's such liberty, and now here's this, and now here's this," and I'm like, "Oh my god, he just went like." Full circle, all I mean, of it. Like I can't. Like I was literally like, okay. Oh, let's now go we're to at the, the world. We yeah. did the fucking nine eleven museum. Is that the first time you did that? Or I've did never we do done that the museum. Yeah, we just walked around outside. Okay, you went in. And like, we went in, Ooh. but you had to pay. It's yeah. not worth it. What I, are we I wouldn't for go in. No the offense. victims, like not worth it. <laughs> what are we paying for the victims' families? Like probably, actually, probably. I don't know. There's probably probably a fund. The, the they probably owe money. They breathed in a lot of fumes. I don't know why they, I'm trying to remember. Like, okay, you're having a moment. I can tell you just really thought hard. I did think of this. I was kind of like, first of all, did they save anyone alive from the rubble of 9-11's building class? Yes. How many? They did. What? A lot of them died from like lung cancer and shit. Oh, no, but I mean, did they save anyone who fell with the building? Oh, I think alive? so. Okay. There's actually a woman that was on like the 70 something floor or something. Some, yeah. Like, and as it collapsed, she survived. She, like, wrote, she wrote it down, baby. 
I would have gotten the elevator. I feel like I'm just best so chance. unsure of that. I really need to look into that. I'll, I'll, we can research after the show. We'll do it in post. <laughs> because I was like, why were all those people in there like so quickly after while it was still burning, breathing in that shit? Like, wouldn't you have thought at that point? It's like they're probably that, gone. Right. That's I what know. I mean. I'm like, the risk is like these people are probably dead. They fell how far through the air? And collapsed into engulfed in flames and metal. Can you imagine? I mean, I, did they really? That's why I'm like not sure someone survived. I just can't imagine being like, well, I'm on the 97th floor, and <laughs> yeah, below me there's a burning plane. Can't get through the burning plane because we can't so, use the stairs because they're melted. Do I from jet fuel. wait? Do I? And actually, you might have thought I would have jumped if I wait. Maybe the like maybe the did they not have? I guess it was a jet coming in. <laughs> like where's the sprinklers? But it knocked out the whole system. Um, because you know how you always want to feel what it is like to fall. You probably, mm -hmm. you could be like, you'll never get to do this again, even though, because you know you're going to die anyway. So you're like, I'm just going to jump and feel yeah, what and it feels like, like. Fly away. My last feeling is so cool. Like, <gasps> I've never gotten to feel this. But then you can't really, like, you have it for a while. Actually, long that's, yeah. You actually, you moments, die with that moment. That perfect moment of, like, this is what flying's like. And now I'm dead. Yeah. That would be the most terrifying, exhilarating, rushful, psychotic moment of anybody's life. Makes you want to kill yourself. Makes you want to jump off a 97th you know Makes store. you want to go kill yourself. <laughs> uh, it makes me want to jump off During the 97th During a historical store. event. Which, by the way... Um, what? I don't know what I was going to say. So, did so that, yeah, we did all that So you stuff, did all that. But that first day, like, I was sitting on the Staten Island Wait, Ferry we, coming back, like, yeah. passing the Statue of Liberty. Was that worth it? Oh, we yeah, yeah. Okay, it was so we're gonna fucking that next time. worth okay, it. We, we're going to do it. When it's warm. It would be cool. cool. No, because you can be inside. They have gla areas oh, with inside glass. Oh, we have hot they They serve? I don't know that they do on this We'll have to get it before we get on. Yeah, they have a station right yeah. before. But um, I was sitting there and I'm like, okay, we've done too much. We haven't even checked in. Like it's 4 p.m. and I haven't even checked into the hotel. Yeah. I saw so I got that intermission feeling and panic. We yeah. needed intermission because mm -hmm. we'd been up since 6 a.m. as well. You literally were like, we flew boop, there. Boop, 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 boop. We had a reservation for, I finally got to go to Thai Diner. It was so fucking good. It's like Thai food I in a diner some of your setting. Posts. I thought you weren't going to a $300 lunch, but then you were there. Um, well, it was a $500 lunch <gasps> and I did go again. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, that's how much it was in June, mm. and that's without the drink and uh, gratuity. I don't. <laughs> it was actually that. like seven eighty, I think, after the. I well, it was your birthday. Left the tip. I mean, and if you can afford it, you can afford it. Who's it was judging worth your it. finances. You know what I mean? Well, it's my birthday present to me. Right. Yeah, like Good I for you. I was thinking no of spending excuse. like three thousand dollars at Tiffany's. Like, I mean, to get another June, necklace. So. Yeah. So you chose food and, and something that doesn't last uh -huh. um, over the. And I think that's great. That's it's Buddha, an experience. It's very Buddhist. It's an experience over. It's in exactly. Yeah, it is. It doesn't last. Feel, for, you don't hold it forever in your hand, but it's a great memory. But you can always say, "I went there." And like I, had I got the best. to talk to the chef, and he's describing their sourcing, and he's like, "We remember you." He remembered everything oh, about me, bitch. I know. He that. literally goes, and instead of the foie gras, once again, we have, like, because I didn't want the foie gras last time. They didn't so just he remember. Like knew. He also well, was able to tell that me at my said, restaurant. I'm gonna remember your goddamn face. And listen, at the end and of the nails. 14 nigiri pieces you get. They let you pick your fish, which is the fish on rice, the mm, piece. Where okay, they yeah. put the piece and then you pick it up and eat it. He let they let you pick your favorite to have again, <gasps> whatever it is. Oh. Even the one that was all truffle, even the one that was all like, caviar on top, like like whatever one you liked, they're gonna do. They'll it again. still do that fancy, expensive one again. I for hope you. so. And so they remembered that the in June he was like, "Did you have a favorite uh, last time? Your favorite was the shimaji, and the notoguro." And I was like. What? Like they just remembered that because they I didn't write it down. Maybe they write it down after I left. Yeah, like I wonder if they have like a, a like the a, fucking other. I didn't even have the other uh, same chef, but he had passed that on. But I wonder if like they have something like almost like at a dark shop where they like, write down all your shit and they're like, he had a headache last time and he has a yes, kid. That no, has, no. They're like, how's your kid doing? How's his face? I heard that he got hit by and a they ball. They put me in the like, center whatever. seat. Like they knew they moved me to the center when I came uh, because I was a return. They were like, and we have one done returning. Gonna, I didn't say. I think you were going to say return there. Uh, uh, I didn't think you were going to say return. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> what did you think I was going to say? Because I'm a, because re I'm return. a return, is what you said, uh, and that's fine. Uh, I they just, said the best review they can get is a returning customer. It's true. I mean, if you're going to spend that in a year, look at how much you spent there in a year. <laughs> um, <laughs> just like fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah fine. over fifteen hundred dollars. And okay. June was Pride, so like you were able to do all this stuff. Right. Exactly. I love New York. So that's why I like it because they have things like that for me. And, right, and then and I they can have intermesh. hotel rooms for you to live. Right, in. I can intermission. No, actually, it was good. Like Matt stayed at the hotel and worked out while I did that. See, the so thing is, is, you're it. used he to like you're like, used Matt. to being alone too. Like on trips, like, oh yeah, where I I'm did like, that alone. Matt, where didn't I'm like, come. okay, I'm gonna go take an intermission. Like, okay, me too. And then all of a sudden, I find out you're like, yeah, I walked down the street <laughs> and had it. And it's like, oh, okay, I thought we were just like relaxing, but I told Matt about that. 
You know how I, I told survive. Matt, I was like, as soon as Bobby like wakes up and I go see him, he's like, so what'd you do? <laughs> yeah, I'm always like, I watched, you know, <laughs> I watched this really good crime show and I fell asleep, masturbated. And it's like, oh, and you're like, oh, I walked down Fifth <laughs> Avenue and, and went shopping and had a coffee. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay, that's your All intermission. Right, girl. <laughs> Somehow it is. Somehow we got to just do what because makes us happy. Because my recharge is being alone. Mm -hmm. Same, but like, Yeah, really but in a alone. different way. Yeah. yeah. It really is true. I'm it's the same true, way. Though, where you're like, you know what? I need to fuck, fucking just, just do what I want to do. I right kind of liked moment. it. I was That's why I like. Oh, and, the, and I have to admit something. The night that Matt got food poisoning from Carbone, and then I let him sleep. And I uh, at 8 p.m. I took myself out to dinner, and I got uh, tagliarini with so Alba truffles because they're just coming well, in season. One you're paying for two, but for one exactly. Because I was like, on paying he for wasn't there, right? So it's time. So I'll spend a hundred fifty on truffles. Oh my god, I want to know how much you spent on food alone. I mean, I can only oh, imagine. Oh, yeah, insane. Yeah. Yeah, because this, everywhere we went, I was. But like, you know what? This was, you knew this going into this trip. I knew this it. wasn't like a. This is Matt's this first wasn't time. This was a podcast trip. Okay, this was like this is Matt's. Yeah, this your was, birthday trip. Went, like, oh yeah, it was like we went all out. Oh yeah, I think that's amazing. And amazing. staying in the village is what we got to do next okay. time. Okay, you would love the vibe. It's like a neighborhood. Did feel. you stay at a hotel? Yes. Okay. But it was only ten stories. Okay. And so it's going to be up a little bit. And it wasn't technically in the village. It's meatpacking. I like meatpacking. Yeah, I like meat. That I actually like. Me I like small. that whole Chelsea it's meatpacking. It's very small, but it's a village. good because the village has all these restaurants. You're just like walking up and down the little bars, little restaurants. It's so cute there. It's I fucking cute. love New York. I that's where I want to live now. It's like I know. <laughs> I, I told Matt. I, Matt said, "Well, I couldn't do that." I said, "That's okay. I would only here. go there a couple. I would only go there half the time." Like, how do we get a group of gays to just go in on? Like, we should just all go in on a yeah, where we can exchange weeks or weekends. Yeah, and then like also then if not, we can just sprint it out. I like that. Like, but I'm not rich, so I can't be a part of that equation. You could. Mm. We just have to change our tactics. I'll be the. I'll be the. Yeah, it's true. We all have our tactics. We all have our ways. Honestly, if we wanted a place in New York, we probably could find a daddy to buy it. Exactly. And I think that's going to be our new goal. go to and goal when we go places is we're going to find the people. We always well, now find the people. Now that you have experience fucking a 70 year old, this would be well, easy for you. Yeah. You might be able to scoop in. I can just scoop in and go, Daddy. Can I have an apartment in the city? You actually play, I know how to play that role to that, like, <laughs> I can introduce oh. you. I'm waiting on my friend. And then you walk well, in and yeah. just wow. So him. if you introduce You're me, if I'm being like, introduced to somebody who yep. I think is hot, oh, it always and it, it always it's works. A success. It's a success. But if it's just me, I'm kind of like, hey, right. But if I'm I've like, got to oh, be, hey. I gotta want it. But if you kind of feed yes. them, serve them to me, serve them on a platter, you are gonna eat them up. Eat them up. I'm like, oh well, who's this? <laughs> I love when I we go love, out. Like I, I just know. love us. Sorry, I know. that's why we have to. We're planning yeah, our next. We're planning trip. our next trip, and I think it might be Chicago. Okay, I know. I'm like, it's kind of fun. I just need to figure out when you can go because I think. I, okay, here. Yes, my worries are. I, only, I mean, there's grandma because okay, okay, that one week in November, unfortunately, you can't. It just is too hard to change like two night shifts on a weekend. I night. know. That's what I figure. That's what those I like. ones are the worst to give up. Like people won't even touch them. I could probably, but I don't. I could try. You can try. Okay. I mean, it was really cheap at the Westin, and there's on the 16th. Oh no, that's the that's the next weekend. Fuck. Oh. I'm like looking for events too. That's what I've been doing is trying to find something that's like a eventy. Thing. That's like, a good idea. So little cunty, little cunty, little. And eventy. then that weekend that's right before Christmas, I'm worried if yeah, Grandma's really home and she has expensive. a big Christmas because oh, it's yeah. also expensive. Because I'm worried she'll have her Christmas that Saturday. I before. think it's gonna be the week. normally she does. I don't know. So it, I'm just like that week. That, it's usually it's gonna have to be that December the one in between week. the middle. Yeah. You're gonna have the to middle. figure it out. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting rid of them. Right. Oh, I'll fucking figure it out. Okay, we're gonna figure it out. That's the day. Yeah. And then the, I, I mean, don't do we do fuck. Chicago or do we just like or do, Chicago is cheap? I feel cheap. like Chicago would be fine. It's really fun. Yeah. We, it's one of those places that there's other always hot neighborhood guys. feel. Yeah. Like Wrigleyville around the Boys Town is like such a neighborhood feel. Such a vibe. I love it. I even looked into Toronto and Montreal, though, it's, but it's too <gasps> goddamn expensive. To get fly there. It's like 600 goddamn dollars. Right. It's like, why? I, I, I don't. I need to figure out how to get there. Like, if I have to fly to Manitoba or like if I have to fly I don't care, to somewhere, I'll do it. Yeah. I need to do something else because it's not working for me. We're so close, too. It's like, why is Toronto such a shit show? Like, we should have direct there. We should be able to take a puddle uh, we jumper. Really should, and, and I think we, do. we only have like one, but it's like 6 a.m. It's so it's stupid. A bad I wonder time. if like. It's a bad time. What if Cincinnati flies there or Cleveland or something? I would Maybe drive we need with, to try yes. to check that no, out. No, we really should. Cincinnati has great flights. Let's actually do that before we pick and Even Chicago. Cleveland has better Because I'd be willing to do that if we were like... <gasps> Wait, what if Cleveland has internet? Right, we're going to have to check We're going to have to look. We're going to take a look. We could get to Montreal. To Hopkins. I would love Montreal. I know. I and know. The Gill students would be there still. Oh, 
fuck. The ones that don't go home, maybe. Well, because Thanksgiving for them is the first. It's already happened, I think. No, right? for Christmas break, because we'll be there. Oh, yeah, we got Christmas. Two weeks before Christmas. <sighs> Life is flying. I can't even fucking believe it's about to hit the holidays. Um, I know. <laughs> it's a fucking shit show. It's a fucking crazy ass shit. And um, I'd like to apologize to you guys for not being here as often as we usually are. But guess what? We're busy. It's life. We're booked and busy. You're going to get what you get. I think they're fine with that. I think so. Well, um, I wanted to talk mm-hmm. about Matt a little bit. Okay. And something I noticed. <laughs> I'm, I got worried because we went to Red Eye and he actually didn't like it very Oh, yeah. Much. We got to go back to that. We didn't even go into the yeah. blowjob story. Yeah. Okay. So let's go okay, back. Okay. So, and then that guy picked the numbers and the blowjobs start. First round, they get 30 seconds each. And you, by the way, you can't make someone come. If you make someone him come. You're out. You're out, actually. You lose. Mm. But then I don't know how they continue the competition. So it's like edging them. Um, right. Okay, so then he narrowed it down to three. Then he picked the winner. And the winner got to finish him off. Or no, the final two got to finish him off. And this then is I why think I love it, New York. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because you can literally go to like a club. And we're just watching this. Like four people. A little just four margarita, people back from a little the martini. State. And I mean, it was great. I was like, good. That one's better, obviously. Like some people were really like. I think that's very interesting that they can do that down there. But I guess. It was in the basement, so well, there's no you, windows. Well, when you buy a ticket for them, everything's an event ticket. Exactly, and it's all got it ex- was disclaimers. When on I it. bought it, it was like it's disclaimers. Yeah, that's what they do. They they're like you're liable for anything you see here. This is an adult establishment. This is a membership. They like make it seem it's a me- yeah. right, and that's how you a club. club. If it's a club. club. If it's classic. a club. Classic. In the club. Everybody in the club is family. We all fam. Yeah. <laughs> in the club. We all fam in the club. That show. I know. It's so it's good. So good. <laughs> Broad City, if you're not aware of it, go watch it. But so we were in Red Eye, a place like that where you're getting, like, it's kind of fun vibes, but the crowd is bigger, I will say. <laughs> And you're gonna notice this when you go back. I know. Because you're in a different category I'm now. I'm in a different category, and I'm not. And so, I, it. yeah, you're. Yeah. Okay. That's what um, I'm worried about. I'm actually really, really starting to fade from. I was like, is Matt fat phobic? Because he just didn't like either. Vi- I'm not he's fat like, phobic. That's uh, what he said. Se. He's not. But he's like, he's just not sexually into watching. I think he big, gets big nervous guys. too. Though. I think he's. Oh, nervous. he gets so nervous. I think it's like. I mean, it is a kind of a scare. Like. I know it's his first time and, seeing that. I mean, for the straights too, they're probably like, "What the fuck?" But like, you walk into a situation at a gay bar, and some of them like this place, uh-huh. you're gonna see a blowjob contest, oh, yeah. and it's nothing to people, especially in New York. You're like, "Oh, New York's like, yeah, the blowjob." I York. think they practice the people who put their names, and I think oh. that's why they were so good. It's all people who know they're good. And it was the guy like they a guy they want to or something, or yeah, like, was he, oh. yeah, or he had a nice. Oh, on. he looked really. No, he was good. I just I would hate to be picked for that. I'd be like, oh no. I would go up there and it would be like a cheese grater. Yeah, like, like, oh, oh, oh. He's like, ah, okay. Okay, you're number out. four, out. <laughs> I'm like, you like it? <laughs> Was it too good? Were you gonna oh, come too you're quick? Gonna come? <laughs> He's like, no. Are you gonna blood dripping from Why your teeth? Why are you getting soft? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why are you getting soft? It's like spurting blood. Like literally. He's like, <laughs> that I would hate be you. Yeah, that would be me. Yeah, same. I was horrified. I was like, wait, they're not just picking random people, right? Because I'd I be good like, for about 10 and seconds. Then I heard like, the I'm number. Tired. I saw a number ticket and I was like, oh, phew, because I didn't mm. put my name in. I think he awful. offered me a ticket, though. That's what I was worried about. Yeah. What if you got, oh my God, that would be, that's like your nightmare. But then Matt didn't really like the Eagle the first time we went because it, the wrong parts were open. There was no dance floor. There was no, it was oh, just really? Like, yeah. Like, you know how on Thursday? We went, like certain nights, yeah. Yeah. Certain, Thursday didn't have the dance floor open. Interesting. Because mm-hmm. then Wednesdays they do. <laughs> Right, but it's, then Saturday they did. So right. when we went Saturday's back Saturday, day. and this was big, I got Matt to take his shirt off in the bar. Listen, and he danced, even though he says he can't dance. I mean, you just he, stand he there and look hot. Da, 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 you just do a little. Da, 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 you do the, da, da, if you don't know anything, you just do a little. Hot in mm, hot in it. You just kind of like moan a little bit. Mm, oh, and it works. And you zhuzh it up. Nobody a gives little. a fuck, to be honest. Uh, uh, That's uh, the one uh, thing I, uh, I, I wish. I need Matt to get on board. I know, me but too. One thing but I, he can't. Nobody it's gives, trauma. Nobody gives a fuck. <sighs> you could be the hottest guy or the just, ugliest guy. Honestly, wow. most people are just worried about themselves. Go off, Oprah. It's true. So go out there and live your truth. Take off your goddamn shirt. Show your fucking. And, Show your man puss. And guess what? Every, there's somebody for everyone. I know. There people. really were. It was weird there. That's what I thought. I thought so did you have that. the same kind of experience or was it different this time from when we go? Well, I didn't get my ass eaten in the corner, that if that's what you're sucks. asking. Yeah, I was kind of upset. Did you go to the corner? Yeah, no. it wasn't great. So I did. To be fair. Like like the clientele. Right. In fact. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Like chubby chubs? 
Mm -hmm. Some of them. I don't. I'm Too sorry. Many of them, no offense. Know, but like, I know it was actually like, oh boy. Um, so, uh, so, but in the one corner, there was fucking going on that the little corner that you first took me to mm, way yeah. back when. And I the love that baby corner, corner where we met that couple from Texas, mm -hmm. one black, one white. Oh, and I still follow them. And I do too. And it's weird. And it's weird. Cause I'm like, why am I still following these and people? I'm, and every time I go, I'll and get a heart like, and I'm like, oh, and, and I'll get a heart and everyone's I'll do a ha ha to him. And, but once I re realized I'm like, he's a cop, I'm like, oh yeah, mm, I would never I like, hook up with him. Yeah. No, I wouldn't hook up with him either. I like the one though. Because <laughs> he's red. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. He's a yeah. ginger. He's a ginger. Um. So. <laughs> okay. So Matt, though. Matt finally took his shirt off. He had the experience of a lifetime. He really liked it. He stayed like up till three a.m. Do you oh, like New York? Or was oh like yeah. He. He I liked he, it. He liked Dumbo. The pictures. Everywhere we went, he was taking pictures. Because it's we very. A lot, when, but I mean, when we went from, um, you know, where we had Smorgasbord, mm -hmm. and then we went to the Dumbo area. Uh huh. Well, in the bridge picture. Mm -hmm. So we started there just because it oh, was the like that way. The famous one. We started there and then we rode a ferry to North Williamsburg. Oh, cool. Where Smorgasbord was. Oh, like by the pizza so place we got where we got ride. pizza. You yes. took the ferry right there. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. Yes. From that area up to. Oh, that's cute. It was a great view. I, 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 I know. York, just going up the river, uh, you're like, this why is. Why do I like I New York so much? It's like it a is problem. actually amazing. When you think about all the little neighborhoods and how they're all different. There are 7 million people that you can run into. Just so I you just know. I just love that. You can say, fuck everybody in my life, I'm gonna reset, and Fully. you'll never see him again, probably because of how many fucking people are in that goddamn if city? They don't know what apartment you're in. They could, bye, yeah, unless they really looked. <laughs> I mean, but, but like, you could just move many, there and never be found. I mean, it's like such a weird feeling to go there though, because it's like it's such a like it's such a clusterfuck compared to what yeah, you Matt, used to. Matt but was it, a little hesitant at first. It's, scary. Like, it's too. When we got to the midtown and we were like near Times Square, he's like, it's oh, too crowded. Yeah, no, I don't like Like Times in the Square. village, it does not feel like that. No, you're more neighborhoody. You can, it's, it's like the people trees. People are far apart from you. Yeah. And there's trees. Uh -huh. And then I take, so that's where we're staying. Yeah. That's where we did all our meals. And then we go up to midtown to like go to the show. Mm. And it was too crowded. Yeah, I can see that. I feel that same way about Times Square. I hate Times Square. Now I do have to talk about this. Mm -hmm. The play Oh Mary. <laughs> yes, please tell us. Oh, uh, it was funnier than I even expected. God damn it. Like I can't I can't understand. It's like we have to how go it's so to New good. York. I'm like, how did like, how, do we... how did they fucking write this? It <sighs> has Coliscola. little just surprises af one after another where you're like, What? Wait, what? It just keeps getting elevated. Have you ever seen them in an interview? Yeah. It's so fucking yeah. funny. They're just like the perfect mix of sp like spontane being spontaneous, spontaneous and like, jokey, but also like little cunty, quips, but then like little, little quips, and, quips, little quips and quivers. I love it. That's great. I was actually really hoping you'd have a good review of that because I yeah. want to see it. And I was um, worried because it'd been hyped up. I read the New York Times well, review. Sure, I'm sure. like, is this really good or is it just kind of mildly funny? It's fucking brat is what it is. It's brat. It is beyond funny. We were screaming, laughing. Ma Matt was laughing throughout. And this is his first Broadway experience. He was oh, very nervous because he hates musicals. I know. No, I've never been to so, Broadway. Okay. So. Well, like, it's a lot. I mean, because but they're very good actors. It's, they're right. the best it's like the, the best of the best. Like so going, that's why right. it's fine, even if you don't really like the concept. You're like, they're so good at performing and acting that you're just like. You're like almost like, how okay. the fuck is this person like even but doing Matt this? loved O'Mary, so he had a great first experience. Oh, that's awesome. So I'm very thrilled with Cole. Oh, and they're so funny at the end, too. <laughs> they, they come out and talk. I mean, it's like. It's, I mean, <laughs> it's perfect. Do you think it'll it's go a on a longer perfect. run than they think? I think. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because I know it's already been extended once There's and twice. There's like two dates like, in November that they announced the understudy is going to be performing. So Cole, like November 11th and 13th, I think. But so yeah, it's probably a lot for I, Cole. I, I, they can. This could be done anywhere. It's going to go on the road. Yeah, I hope so. Because I funny. want more people to see it. It's so funny. It's and it's just so historical. Funny. Not really. Yeah, kind of. Well, like, it's all historical people. Yeah, it's historical people. Let's just say that. Uh, I'm really excited about that for you. Thanks, honey. Something that I've been doing here at home is eating pumpkin seeds. I know. What's going on? Now, Are we carving? No, I'm not okay. carving pumpkin, but I... You're just trying to get fiber? I don't know. I just started eating pumpkin seeds. They're really good, to now, be fair. Are I they the really... Cajun or spiced ones? Okay, so here's another thing I realized in my life. I don't like salty. I really don't. You're always I like you're a bowl of ice cream person. Yeah, Vanilla. Yeah. I'm a creamy. I'm a creamy. I'm a creamy. Yeah, that's true. I'm not like And I'm a savory salt. I'm salt, 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 umami. I mean, I yeah, like I I'm like so I want anchovies are like, like randomly. Ew, well, 
I just can't do salt. It makes me feel puffy, and I'm not fat anymore, so I don't do puffy. You know what I mean? I'm puffy after the I'm trip. Puffy. I'm puffy too. I'm a puffy boy. Um, puffy nipples. Yeah, I've been, yeah, but I've been eating. Um, so where do the pumpkin seeds come so from? So what panicked me? Oh, I got them at the gas station. Uh, but what's panicked me about it is, and then I'll, uh, heart like, failure. Heart failure. What? Because of pumpkin seeds? Are you feeling the effects of all that salt? Um, like, are you more puffy? Are you retaining fluid? No. Do you have swelling or edema? No, I don't swell anymore, honey. Not even down Just there. in my cock. Only whenever I... <laughs> fully Looks ready. Looks like a pussy now. No, it's a big old cunt. Um, <laughs> but uh, there was something that happened at work that freaked me the fuck out. So these Gen Zers that work there, oh, here the one go. goes... I was like, yeah, I love pumpkin seeds. I, you know, just love throwing them raw on my mouth. She goes, wait, you eat the seed, you eat the outside. <laughs> and I go, yeah. <laughs> and you're supposed to. Yeah. I thought you could do I it. did too. The white part? Yeah. Oh, the yeah, seed. I always eat those. The middle part, yeah, there's a little like baby oh, green. No, are we trashy? No. And that's what I was I okay, are so that's where I had a panic are attack. And I go, and I look at Colleen and Colleen's oh, like fuck, we're Colleen's rednecks. Like, Colleen's like, yeah, you eat the seed. I'm like, yeah, we eat the seed. <sighs> so then today. Oh, fuck. the other Gen Z says, "Wait, you eat the you eat the outside?" Oh and no! I go, fuck what? me! And she goes, "Oh, that's sunflower seeds." And I'm like, "Yeah, no, I don't eat sunflower seeds on the outside, but pumpkin seeds, bitch, you're supposed to eat the whole thing." Oh no! But actually, on salads, when I get them, they are green and without green and the little, white part, little babies. But they're like without the white part. They're the pepitas, well, that's, mm-hmm. pepitas, pepitas, little babies. If you will. <laughs> I love it. But uh, so that's been my latest obsession. Here is a little pumpkin seed action, like in the car. Like I like to just pop them in the mouth. I kind of like that because at at Sheets they have a brand there that isn't as salty as David's. Oh, I like that. So it's less. So it's salt. a little salty, but like I, enough for me to handle. I'm always a less salt girl. Like if I have the soy sauce I options, like salt. I want the green lid. I want less sodium. Right. So less sodium like, soy sauce. Like with pretzels, it's I don't so like salty. a lot of salt. You don't need it. You don't. When I buy the crisp ones, the ones I really like, the splits, mm. they're called splits. Yeah. And they're like extra crunchy. Those are so salty. Yeah. Like it's beyond. Gross. It's beyond. And it's I don't like, know. You start to go like. I don't know if my palate's changed or your body has. Tide. Like all of it might have something to do with you it. You might but just like, be drifting healthier. Well, there's more. Every time I taste too much salt, like yep. I, even like chips, it's like hard for me to eat chips. It's you're not. You're. Yep. Your body's being retrained by the power of modern medicine. Thank God. Fuck. By God himself. I mean, I needed to lose like 30 more pounds, but after that, I can't wait. I can't either. I can't wait to go back it's so to like. Weird. We listen, gotta take you. Some, maybe we I just, gotta go. Oh, where? Where? I'm we like, going? are there directs to Miami? <laughs> I know. Like, I really want to go. I really want to go back to New York. I really I do, do. But <laughs> I, I just like. Do. I feel like Chicago oh, would be I a good. Go so bad. I feel like a Chicago would be a good change up <laughs> just for a moment. And cheaper. And cheaper, probably. Um, Except for what? Actually, we the West the End. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna have to get an Airbnb. I was looking at the Airbnbs other. Like no, there's some cute ones. I guess you've been there before, like in that area and stayed, so you can fucking handle that. Yeah. Um, uh, do we fly into O'Hare or do we fly into Midway? O'Hare's easier. I know. I feel like it's right there near Wrigley. And it's just like oh, shit. Midway south, south. So we won't even really go downtown, downtown, would we? Maybe to the museum or something. Would we? Yeah, I no, we don't even have to. I don't care. No, we can do it. Like, we can have like a. I, uh, I want there this was trip to be a very. Cool museum. Although I want to go to an aquarium. I okay. love the aquarium. Like, I want to do something different, but like, I don't want to be like time constrained. I want it to be kind of right. like our New York trip where it was like. Well, it was perfect in New York. Okay, let's, let's what are we going to do? Let's well, go that's walk what down I did with dogs. Matt this time. I mean, I created a rough you outline. Had a stru- you I had a struct. I was like, we need to see like. these things. The very beginning, you seemed like you were very structured. I was like, I know things down in the financial debt. Wall Street, 9 11. I mean, there's got to be one day that you're a little bit strict on your time. If you're not, you won't see anything. So you got to do that. Now that we've been there so many times, it's like, we don't really need to no. be rushed. And, and with that, Chicago, I didn't even like, make dinner reservations. We walked into everywhere, and it was I liked it a lot way. See, I, I, I just they're like, even if they're like, it's a twenty minute wait. It's like, okay, like, okay that's then great. I'll, I'll wait. Bar. I'll, yeah. Well, look I'll what wait. happened. We went, we went to the Irish bar, and we sat there, and we met. Those like, I'm telling you, so, we meet yeah. so many. It's just crazy. Great people. It's crazy. That's what's weird. It's crazy. There, there's great people like out crazy. there. Crazy. Anyway, I want to meet more. Wait, Brandon lives in Chicago. Okay, actually, that's a good idea. Let's do. Okay, now I want to go there. I would love a tight hole right now. I like his pretty cock. He's got such a good cock. I, do you have pictures? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. So do I. And I've looked at them before. And, right. And thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sometimes a pick is enough. So it looks um, like um, looks like we're going to Chicago. Boys. Looks like we're going to Chicago. Um, um, look out for us. We're going to be on the prowl. Um, Eiffel Tower, Brandon. Um, <laughs> there was something I wrote down. Oh, well, that would be called a Daisy Train. A Daisy. It's called a Daisy Duke. Daisy Train. Uh, <laughs> was that a bunch of faggots that are fucking? Like, is that? What <laughs> look it up. I cannot. Is it called a Daisy I Train? I don't fucking know. I'm trying to find my goddamn. Oh, I said. What's a Daisy train? Daisy is a diesel rail car. Mm. This is from fandom. Fandom. I would say like Daisy car slang. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of hummus. What is a Daisy train? Yeah, I don't think it's real. Gay. Maybe say gay. Yeah. A group sexual activity in which the participants serve as active and passive partners to different people simultaneously. Right. So you're getting fucked and fucking. It's a train. Okay. Like if these guys were right, fucking. They're all fucking each other. One's getting fucked in the ass so while they're you're, fucking. I'm in the very front. You're in the front. I'm in the front, bitch. I am not. That's exactly it. I cannot. My brain would not be able to handle the double action. Like, first of all, I hate six. No, I would just want one. And that's why I'm in the back. You're in the back. I'm in the front. Brandon babe. can be in the middle because you want his cock anyways. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, that's settled. Daisy um, train. Come on down to the daddy train. Uh, come on down. Oh, my God. So I have something I want to talk about that gets a little serious. Oh, no. Is it cancer? No. Um, it's not serious. And I actually am really kind of concerned for okay. our community. Okay. So I'm on Reddit. You know, I love Reddit. And I like going to like gay bros or whatever. There's some major things happening that I do think is, is very problematic. Um, oh, no. And it's. No, we're on. It's going to be controversial for me, coming from me, but like the trans men. Oh, no. I know you're not going to like it probably, but I'm noticing a very, oh, no. a very big theme, a very big pattern. Um, and a lot of the other gay men are too on this website. These trans men jump in. Okay. Now, listen, nobody oh. here is saying we don't want trans men around. We don't want. Well, we don't need them around everywhere. They are calling people transphobic because they don't want to finger their pussy. And to me, I mean, it is like we are. What? Yes. They are saying it. Literally, this person's like, I'm trans and I matter. And no. this one guy was like, I no. literally didn't know that this Insane. trans man had a vagina. And then like, I felt like I got raped because then I was like fingering this. I mean, it is just like, so I was like, that's insane. It's kind of because a weird guess what? Angle? You're allowed to have your own sexual preferences. You are. Allowed. If I don't want to finger a vagina, it doesn't matter if it's on a man or a woman. I mean, I'm not denying it. a trans man has a vagina. Sure. I'm just saying, I just, if I don't want to finger a vagina and you have one, it's not about you. I just don't want to finger a vagina. <laughs> like yeah, literally, it's I like, I, I just. I just I feel like we need I don't to get still it. have spaces. It's not because you're trans. It's not trans at all. I love no. but like if we're gonna be in a gay dude, like gay penis, I don't it's And how so, are you gonna force people to inter all, interact in thing. that way sexually? Like if your boundary is you know what, I don't want to deal with vaginas. It's very it's very, very cringe. Why are we man. saying that's oh that's transphobic? Yeah, like it's legit. I'm reading it's this like, this post no. has like a thousand comments because this person came on and was like, I matter, I'm a trans man and I matter if you and have I should a be a female body. You have and a you're vagina, not into that. right? You have a vagina. I don't care. I, I, it, it's not about who, what so gender weird. you are. It's, it's so about weird. the sexual organs that you possess. Right. Exactly. Sorry. I'm sorry. You have a vagina. <laughs> like, I don't know I what know. to tell you. Like, I'm sorry, but I don't, I should be subjected <gasps> to so fingering crazy. your vagina and then be calling transphobic <laughs> if I don't want to finger and fuck your vagina. Like, if I'm going to fuck a vagina, then I might as well just be straight. My life would have been way easier. Okay. It's just weird. Looks for, yeah. So anyway, I just thought it was a very interesting conversation. I kind of want to get your take because I know. Yeah. Um, well, okay, but like, I'm, I, I do. I get that feeling, and I think that's kind of. I've wondered this recently. Mm -hmm. I was actually thinking about this because there are like even there's a trans guy here in Columbus that I'm like he, he's kind of mm -hmm. hot. So I'm like, I've wondered. Well, what would that be like? Right. Sure. And I think it would be fine. Actually, I think that's with okay. that person, right? So that's it's like okay, you if can't it's make, your decision yeah, to say right. I'm okay with a vagina, yeah, maybe, like, or I want to try it and see. I think it would be fine for me, but I also wouldn't like be looking down on someone who was mm. like, it's not for me, right? Sexually, like these little proclivities and preferences are so 
complex. I don't they think are. we can say it's so oh, complex. if you don't like that, that means you're transphobic. It's like no, I think gender and all these things I, influence. I believe our that you're an absolute man, and I believe that you can absolutely live the life that you are a gay man. But but you possess a vagina. Period. Like there's nothing else you really right. can say so about some it. Some people like, might not be into that. But it was just very interesting the backlash though that I'm seeing from the gay men are like really pissed off. Like to the point where they're like, this has gone too far. We're getting dragged down with these people. Now straight now the now the yeah, right now hates start, the gay people right. again. They're trying to ban marriage because and, of the trans. Because of the trans. And and again, let's just be honest. Like every single commercial you see is like, oh, do you want oh my god, there's a commercial out there that says like oh, no. he's for you, not for they them. Oh, I saw that. I'm I like, saw that. What the yeah. fuck? It's like, why is that? First that of all, is a political ad. Why are you guys so worried? But second of all, I don't know. It's just like <laughs> the whole thing is like, who? The, we are talking about a percent of the population. I, know, I don't one, even think it's right. less. I feel like it's less. So we're talking about less, than a, <laughs> and we're all fucking up in arms. Calm the yeah. goddamn fuck down. It's like this down. is not the problem. No, this is not the problem. The 11 million undocumented people here are not the problem. Right. 11 million out of 340 million. Right. You think those 11 million are the essential problem? Meanwhile, no. you're stealing, you're lying, yeah, you're cheating, right. and you're, you're going breaking to church, the law and to and you're lie like, about an election. Um, you're burning down ballot boxes. Is which I think is inappropriate. You're also standing yeah. on a fucking stage being a racist as fuck. I know. That, it's so bad. That was on. I'm going to play the clip. That Nazi rally was like, oh, this Tony guy. They're really crazy. Yeah. Listen. What is that? I mean, the, that the, was not a roast. No, listen. The her and her pimp handlers will destroy our country. We need to slaughter this other people. They're smart and they're vicious. And we have to defeat them and when i say the enemy from within the other side goes crazy they are indeed the enemy from within and it's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now yeah i think it's called puerto rico she is some sick that hillary clinton huh what a sick son of a the whole party a bunch of degenerates as the first samoan malaysian low iq former California prosecutor ever to be elected president. These Latinos, they love making babies too. Just know that. They do. They do. There's no pulling out. They don't do that. Can you imagine Camilla Harris performing a random, kind, generous act? She is the devil who ever screamed that out. She is the Antichrist. That's a cool black guy with a thing on his head. What the hell is that, a lampshade? I'm just kidding. That's one of my buddies. He had a Halloween party last night. We had fun. We carved watermelons together. It was awesome. Her and her pimp handlers will destroy our country. We need to slaughter this other people. This it was just a display. When he said... Oh, look at this black guy up front with the hat on. Oh, yeah. What kind of fucking hat's that? Oh, just kidding. That's my friend. We we carved watermelons last night. Right. Like, Because it's Halloween. So black people do watermelons instead of pumpkins. Are you fucking... I mean, to me... I think I'd rather have a watermelon. Honestly, same. Because I can eat it just easily. I don't want to cook uh, it. And, and there's no like, goop. The goop freaks fuck me the, the fuck goop. out. Fuck the goop. Oh, we used to shove our hand in the goop and that. I hate it. My mom would be like, you have to do your own. I'd be like, I don't want to do it. And you get it. on your nails. I was always like, like, I don't want to do the goop. And no one would do it, though, so I had to. My dad used to I was such a little spoon princess. And would like, scrape it out. Yeah, we would use a spoon yeah, with a serrated scrape it out. We really like scraping. Scrape it out. Scrape it out. I remember <laughs> just being yelled at, like, scrape it out. We both grew up out. in, like, Trump houses, so I guess yeah, we, like, we're we like, have the what same the fuck? What are we, Why do we have to do this? <laughs> like, scrape it more. Like, I don't want to do this. You have to get it all or it'll rot sooner. That's and what I was yeah. told. And then, and then the... I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, it's four days before Halloween. Like, let it rot. I don't give a also, fuck. I, I do have to say, I think I know. pumpkins are kind of dumb. They're dumb. Sorry. They're I dumb, thought about that the other girl. day. We're driving by and I see it's them It's a all. poor person activity. <laughs> like, I'm done. Like, what in the fuck is this? You're getting a pumpkin and you're carving it out and putting a candle in it. But like, it doesn't last. It molds. It smells. <laughs> it's like, what not, are we yeah. doing? The squirrels eat it. Um, oh, my God. The teenagers God. hate it thrown in the street. Right. You get it thrown at your car and then yeah, what? It's like sad. It's, it's not terrible. It's one of those activities that feels sad. Like, fall though because everything's dying i just feel like hell like you do it sucks. and then it's no just offense, over I, and you're like Ooh, it's rotting i just feel like Halloween's over different. It. it's just yeah. hitting different lately i'm like whatever i don't really give a fuck I, huh? well in new york i was there for the halloween weekend 
<laughs> in New York. Well, and that's the thing. Sorry, I have to get this off. Like, what is this? Oh, I don't know. A little fuzzer. Um, it was that Halloween weekend, so everyone's going out in costumes, and I just love that I didn't even have to tell anyone why I'm not in a costume. No one asked. Well, maybe they thought you, you were know, in a costume. You know, around here, they're like, what's your costume going to be? And I'm like, I don't do costumes. I'm an adult. Like, right. And I'm not going to disparage you if you do. I'm not saying like you can't do costumes. That's great. If you like that, <laughs> I don't like it. I don't want to do it. It's not because I think you're stupid or dumb or childlike. I just don't want to do it. Yeah. Sorry. I don't want to play dress up. The problem is, is that and I actually I wrote played this dress down. Up my whole I life. wrote this down and I think I probably said it before. And I'm going to say it again. Go ahead. Go ha- off. Halloween and like trick or treat and dressing up gives I, me the uh oh feeling. It makes me feel like, like the Disney adult. Almost uh-oh like, feeling. yeah, like it's almost like, like oh, I'm like, yeah, secondhand embarrassed of my own like, self. Oof, it's like, how know. do you get secondhand embarrassed right. by your own self? I know. Like, I'm in a <laughs> like costume. I'm, I'm in a costume right now. Like, why are you in a and costume? It, and maybe it is because we've like faked our whole lives and then we're like, and oh, everyone's now we're just a- trying to do slutty versions of something. So it's like the same thing. It's like the just gays be are a girls. Slut. Just dress like a slut. All the gays want to have a wig and hair. I mean, right, it's just, I know. It's just all the girl, all the lesbians what are dressing that? up as men. It's just, we just, we're gender bending. <laughs> it's fine. That's what people say is like the benefit of Halloween is like the first gender bending experience for right. a lot of trans kids. Well, and a lot of every, everybody I, can do it. I wore a tutu, a ballerina tutu let me, let me when I was like 11, by the when way, I was kind of old. I was Charlie XCX on Saturday. Okay. That's a good one. <laughs> With those glasses, I believe it. Uh huh. Glasses, I got the wig they sent me With from that Amazon. Fucking hair. Oh well, the wig they sent me was wrong. It was short, but whatever. I still fucking wore it. Um. Oh my god. Yeah, we went up the street to like some neighbor's house that Sh- Sean knows the guy. He's like the vet. Okay, good. Whatever. I was like, um, well, the one guy like, up the street. One guy like hits the one guy hits me up on Grinder and shit, or actually on Scruff. I and need I, to see. And so, oh, I see him. I'm kind and of panicking. Because he lives there. Okay. I knew this going in. I'm like, oh, fuck. This motherfucker. Not that it matters, but like, it's kind of awkward when you see somebody you've been talking to like exclusively on like chats and then being like, hey. Like, it's just weird in person. <laughs> like, it's just, not the same. It so That's why I can't do it. I so can't do it. didn't talk to each other. Um, But then the minute I left, hey. got, a, got a message that said, brat. Just <laughs> So I'm like, I, I was can't. at your home. You I come to me, first of all. I cannot do this. First of all, I'm Charlie XCX. I don't come up to people. You come up to me for Rapunzel. Like, the bitch Listen, had a, oh, sick. Yeah, it was like rapunzel like It was like Little House in the... Like, I don't know what it was. I was like, We're not doing that. So, yeah. So Halloween to me is just very awkward. I do get into character once I'm there, but like... Yeah, you do. Me, I've seen you in character. It's good. Once, you're pretty good You're in a good it. character, too. When you, It's just the awkward feeling of like, oh, I'm going to... Oh. I just feel bad. Yeah, I feel, I feel bad. I feel about bad. It. I feel bad. She feels bad. But it was fun to watch everyone else do it. So I, that's why I don't discourage it. Maybe you should be like a contest Walking holder. around, like with all those costumes, people just going crazy. It was kind of fun. Even it's like kind of like, I didn't have to be like that and no one cared. It's kind of like I like that. It's kind of spooky, really. Because it was it's like, spooky. I'm like, everyone's doing spells tonight. Yeah, like everybody's doing cocaine. With their magic wands. Everyone's doing some coke in the. Oh, drugs were very uh, can we do well a line? used. <laughs> um, Don't you remember we were at the Eagle? Eagle I was yeah. like, oh, can I do a little line to a little like, key? Everyone's on drugs. Yep, everybody's on cocaine. The bathroom, um, everyone was just fucking yeah. in the bathroom. <laughs> you know, They're like, like oh, doing drugs and fucking, God. and it was dirty in there. I'm like, what are you gripping this pissed on yeah. toilet bowl? Mm-mm. Uh huh. You want to get me to, you, you know? And, you know, surprising number of girls. See at, again. I know. I'm telling you this and, bullshit. Uh-huh. I would say at least more than a few, well, a more than a handful. So literally more 20 years ago, gay men, even just 20 years ago, gay men were trying to have their own spaces, and you bitches never came. Then we decided to let you guys in because we were like, okay, we want to share our space right. with you because we're not you. We're not you. We're good people. Yeah. Now you guys are fucking infiltrating, and I'm done. Like, I'm, I'm done. so done with it. I'm gonna make people show their cocks before they can come in the house. I kind of like you're transphobic. You're transphobic. I'm tired of it. Like I don't want to be it's put like, into that position. I'm not transphobic, but it, there is a certain but sexual I want to go energy after to men. a room, right? Like when it's men all men who want men, like penis who want penis. penis. Yeah. I mean, we have to be very clear here. It's not about men and men, and you're not a man. <laughs> and uh, it's literally, I want a dick, not a man. I know exactly. You now, don't. <laughs> you do care more about the dick than the man in a lot of cases. I've noticed. You are yeah more. I'm, you are like you analyze the cock. I'm more body body focused. Yep. Then like some people just want a man, like a face man. Like yeah, I'm gruff. like I need to see what's and that's probably you want to see Billy, sexual trauma. Billy goat scruff. I do. Um, what about your sexual trauma? I feel like that's probably why I just always look at the dick. I'm just looking at the sexual trauma, like because I mean, you're afraid like, to look at the face and take in a full human. Literally, 
Because it's been a bad thing, so you don't want to. You're you're being bad. So you just see the yeah. The so most I just look for the organs. High energy part. Yeah. yeah, I'm just like, oh, there's a good cock. I'm not looking at your face because we're not gonna. We're not allowed. <gasps> oh my god. Anyway, yeah. um, do mm. you have a sundry or? I think I do. Okay. <clears throat> this sundry is brought to you by Dove. Sean fucking Mendez. <gasps> Like, oh, first of all, not fuck. even cute. So I don't know why we're still talking about him. He's I just saw a recent picture. I was like, he's like, what yes. is this? I can't do this. He's a faggot. It, 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 it's giving like a young Richard Simmons. It's like, giving... it's just not cute anymore to me. So I don't know why we're doing this. We but like anyways, um, here we go again mm -hmm. with his fucking sexuality being a story. And it's another non-story. Where I just don't. We think all know why, you're bisexual. Yeah, okay. it's like who cares? It's, okay. it's really like why? Why are we talking about this? Like, no one should be subscribing to the celebrity culture. Like, we need to stop caring. Like, I don't care if Sean Mendes sucks cock. Why does it even matter? Like, it doesn't. Who's it affecting? He's probably not good at it. He's probably not good at it. He probably feels ashamed, and he probably doesn't do it very often. So. You know, he goes he's on little on trips road. with his favorite girlfriends and they get to fly to Mallorca. But really, he's just waiting for a cock. And we don't care. We don't care, Sean. Sean, go, Listen, just Sean. go away. I don't even know. if Are you still doing music? Like, if you are, yes, This you. is the new song. So the new song, oh. he says, like, you guys want to judge me from a... First we of all, don't. nobody's judging no you. No one's we judging just, We don't We're care. just trying to figure it out, but honestly, now it's such an At old this story. Point, it's so we know boring. you're gay, girl. We've had, like, 30 iterations of it. Girl, like, you have is he gay or not? He's like, oh... I'm not hey, gay. Hey, baby. <laughs> By the way, you also have a tattoo that says good boy on I'm you. I'm not um, gay. Yeah, tattoo good says boy, good right. boy. Which daddy forced him to get that to, you know, you know feel the deal? Sometimes The thing is so gay, too. He's I like, know. He's, I'm going to play a little clip. He's like, sometimes. <laughs> they're like playing the guitar. He's like, but he can't. He's like one of those autistic like, like guitar yeah. playing, like where you can't talk without playing the guitar. So he's like, struggling. He's like, oh, no. my sexuality has always been a question. <laughs> So, you know, <laughs> but I it's like so. I didn't watch it because I just, I, 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 don't, oh. I don't need to see that. Oh, my God. You, I just read like a report. Oh. I read a report of what he said and I'm like, I, gotta, I oh, can't. Uh, I got to play it just because I need you to hear that little moment. Like, <laughs> man, man, you know, make it emotional. Since Sean. I was really young. There's this been this thing. There's this been this thing. About my sexuality and people have been talking about it. Of course, all the fangirls start cheering. Because you're a faggot. <laughs> right, like, girl, you're playing this guitar and talking like it's a goddamn monologue. I think sexuality is such a... Such a... A beautifully complex thing, and it's so hard to just... It's not. Boxes. Tick the box. So you're bisexual, you're poly, you're pansexual. Right. Like, what are you? Like... Anyway, that's that. Now we've got to talk about another thing. This is my Sunday is going to be like a recap of things that we didn't talk about, really quick. Um, okay, that's an interesting way to sundry. Uh, well, we didn't Shade talk about thrown. this, and this um, is like literally. <laughs> We're live. And then there's like Jill Stein's face in the background. I'm sorry. It's so funny to me. It is, it is so fucking funny. This bitch. Well, I found out why she was It's panicked. like the not it's the knockoff political rally. Like, it was almost the it debate. Gave me, it's like, it's like, like, it gave me the MAGA fashion oh, show. I fucked, it up. <laughs> I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Can I go First back? of all, who's fucking uh, Loomis? It's, we're um, live. We're live. <laughs> Well, so apparently they told her, you. they're like, you can warm up, we're not live. So she started warming up and they're like, three, two, one. And then she thought she was, they, she thought they were like not going to film it live. She thought she was going to like, and so she's like, I fucked it up, cast that over. No, honey, you're live. I mean, you want to talk about, oh my you want to summer. Okay, oh you want to summarize the United States of America? Right, that's right perfect, here. yeah. It's this part right here in particular. <laughs> That's America. Yeah, I like literally, it up. that's America up. right now. We like, fucked it we up. We fucked it up. Like you we really did it fuck it up. The fuck up. That's what Matt um, keeps saying. It's like he's like, "How is it this close? Like, <laughs> what is this?" It's the most corrupt, horrible people. These are horrible people. Oops, we should get along with everybody. They're horrible people. <laughs> this. You know, some people you just can't get along with. Can't. Someone said they need to die. Yeah, I know. They're yeah, like, like they're like inciting our vi like I mean if he wins I it really was a Nazi rally. I just want oh, everybody yeah, to remember ready. to yeah. all your parents that are voting for Trump. This is like you no. might be sending us to camp. 
Right. And I know I've joked about that for years, but the camps might, and it might not even just be, be for like gays. It might be for everyone that's not Republican. Um, no, I think it's for everyone. Yeah. yeah. It's for everyone who's not going to declare Actually, loyalty. Actually, non-Christians. Yeah. De- if you don't declare loyalty, I'm sure it's over. Well, even if you do, I don't con- think, I think eventually they get rid of you too. Honestly. That's the thing. Like they tricked a lot of people. Yep. The that, Nazis. Well, it's kind of weird when you look into history and like, look at it. It's like, it's, it's a easy. slow roll. First you get a little scapegoat. It's just now it's the illegal roll. immigrants. Next, mm-hmm. it's the gays as well. And the trans athletes. And, and oh, tra- we got to yep. get them rounded up. All of them. LGBTQ, just get them all. <sighs> Hopefully, he just... Hopefully, he loses. Yeah. Honestly, it'd be great if he did lose. I mean, I, I'm i really nervous about this, but I also... I, I, it, I just want it to actually be a landslide. I don't know. Um, Which I fear it won't. Either way, to be honest, because mm. I don't want them to be questioned. That's a, That'd be the best, yeah. Like, okay, if... It's like, I oh, just... we are fully a fascist country. Like, okay. But it's really kind of funny when you... <laughs> there's a video of like... It's a landslide. They want Trump. It's like, time to leave. There's a video of people on a stage, and the left side is like Democrats and like more liberal progressive people on the right, so the Trumpers. And you can just tell uh, by the way that they look who they vote for. And that's all I'm going to say about that. You can. And on either way. You, I mean, Even the houses in my neighborhood, the ones with the Trump signs in front of them are dirty as fuck. You can tell. The porches are a mess. You can tell. The siding needs redone. The window. I mean, it's like everything's dirty. They want to make America great again, but yeah. they want somebody to do it for them. Even it's very interesting, are. but yet, yeah. but then but when somebody comes and does their lawn that's illegal, they're oh. still going to be fine with it, but then they're going to say they don't want illegals. Okay. Yeah. Well- Guess what? Forty five percent of the agriculture workforce Do is they undocumented under- people. Forty five percent. Yeah, like it's crazy. Like that's all our they're food. in the fields getting that's cut all our up every day, hunched for over your while they cut over, over, Bridget. over. They develop yeah. disabilities. I mean, it's like right. it's hard work. Here's an idea. I got a great idea, and actually, I think Ron Paul. And I don't want to say his name. No, I, mean, I don't care. But the fair tax. Yeah. I've always been into that. Um, I feel like if you want to solve all the problems, then why don't we just have a fair tax and tax everything higher and don't tax people's income um, so that if you buy anything that's, you know, whatever, groceries, gas, whatever, you can tax the shit out of that. Um, and then everybody has to pay for it then because then mm. the illegals would have to pay for the tax because they have to pay for the gas. Yeah. So then inherently we're all paying for what we're here for. And then you give us free health care. Um, wow. I know that won't happen, but. It's really not a bad idea, considering the fact that we say we have an immigration problem. Okay, well, they're all going to pay taxes. Yeah, so well, they already do. Like in 2022, they contributed 95 billion to Social Security and Medicare, and, and they they're can't still even putting act- money into and they our can't fucking- even access the benefits because they're not. They don't have citizens. It's kind of crazy because they do. They pay. They get it taken from their wages. I mean, it, right. all to yeah, you know, off, because then a the company because certain- a company needs yeah. to yeah. So they probably get paid on the table, but they're, right. they're some of that money is going towards yeah because then they're not money laundering. Right, they're just their expenses. It's in just cash. it's just kind of funny to me. So next time your your back hurts and you want to call a Mexican over to help your fucking garden, they pay into Social Security and Medicare. Yeah, and show some goddamn respect with some respect. So it's on like their name. they pay taxes. I don't. There's not. They're not. High, there's not higher crime rates with undocumented people. I tried to tell like all these things to make you scared. It's like what, they're not scary at all. To well, me. we're all brainwashed because at work they're going to be harder workers. They really are because they're here to make more money I than they can make at home. Used to work with Mexicans on the golf literally, course, and they would fucking bust their goddamn ass. And at the end of the day, you know what they did? You feel embarrassed. It's like, wow, they, why are oh, we doing tra- this? We are trash. They would I'm wash like, their carts off and they would wash their hands and wash bad. everything off and clean up their shoes. And like everything was done in like a meticulous manner where it's like, and then we're going to sit here and be like, you can't come to our fucking country. <laughs> okay. They're literally <laughs> cleaning up our country. I mean, yeah. So true. Our drugs coming over the border. Yeah. But do you remember your friend who's Ricky? using them? Right. Who's remember your friend them? Ricky who now has a meth basement? That's I'm like, like, who's using the drugs? Like, it's all these like trashy white people. And they're like, oh my God, there was a murder, a Mexican murder. It's like, do you know how many white guys yeah, that I were know. at church last they, week murdered their wives this week? Right. I'd love to do a poll. Let's find out. <laughs> Guarantee you it's more than the Mexicans it or is. the trans or it the gay. Is or the drag queens. Statistically, yeah. It's all you dumb motherfucking straight psychopaths. And we're tired of it. So Sick of it. you know what? The buses are rolling up for you, bitch. And that's been another episode of Not Well. I'm Bobby. I'm Jim. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sticking with us. Uh it's been choppy and it's probably gonna still be choppy because it's gonna we're, be a little we're busy. Choppy. A little we're busy. Bit. Yeah. We are busy people. We are busy. If you have ideas, let us we know. Have lives. We Sorry, have lives. We have a life. We have life. Not together, but we have life. It's the end of, well, it intertwines. Um, so have a good week. Call us, 614-721-5336. And Give us a call. Goodbye. Goodbye. There was some. <laughs> was there was something else. No, I, I get, it was. One week from today, you will have the chance to make a decision 
that directly impacts your life, the life of your family, and the future of this country we love. Her and her pimp handlers will destroy our country. We need to slaughter this other people. They're smart and they're vicious, and we have to defeat them. And when I say the enemy from within, the other side goes crazy. They are indeed the enemy from within. And it's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah, I think it's called Puerto Rico. She is some sick that Hillary Clinton, huh? What a sick son of a The whole party, a bunch of degenerates. As the first Samoan Malaysian low IQ former California prosecutor ever to be elected president. These Latinos, they love making babies too. Just know that. They do. They do. There's no pulling out. They don't do that. Can you imagine Camilla Harris performing a random, kind, generous act? She is the devil, whoever screamed that out. She is the Antichrist. That's a cool black guy with a thing on his head. What the hell is that, a lampshade? I'm just kidding. That's one of my buddies. He had a Halloween party last night. We had fun. We carved watermelons together. It was awesome. Her and her pimp handlers will destroy our country. We need to slaughter this other people. This.